einem Meter und 80. Sein Kampfrekord 45 Kämpfe, 35 Siege davon, 20 durch K.O. und ein Unentschieden. Ja, yep. 36 in years of age, 36 Ecke wins, 9 losses, 1 draw, 20 wins inside. But coming to the end of the road. Aus Frankreich, Hassin Billy Sherifi. So, Hassin Sherifi then. Having fight number 46. In der roten Ecke. Er ist 25 Jahre alt. Sein Kampfgewicht 73,5 Kilogramm. Er ist 1,81 Meter groß. Sein Kampfrekord 22 Kämpfe, 21 Siege, davon 9 durch K.O. In seiner Ecke Conny Mittermeier, Volker Grill und sein Trainer Michael Zim. Aus Leverkusen Felix Sturm. So there he is in Sturm. Special fighter for just three years. Come a long way in a short time. 21 wins, that one defeat against De La Hoya, nine wins inside the limit, just 25 years of age, 11 years younger than Hassin Sharifi. Now, what has surprised me about this particular fight, it's only been scheduled for eight rounds. I'm amazed that no one would jump into this one and bung a title on the end of it. And I'm delighted they haven't. So Hassin Sharifi then, who's lost three, by the way, of his last four, uh, two of them by stoppage. European title shot against Howard, Howard Eastman got stopped in eight. Brian McGee stopped him in eight. And uh, it was outpointed by Frank Mazash for the French title. Although he's coming off a win here, Hassin Sharifi. Um, I suspect Felix Sturm is uh, young enough and ambitious enough to probably win, um, especially, of course, on home soil. But Sharifi's been a tough guy for a long time. More of that a bit later, hopefully. Sturm's, by the way, Sturm's record, uh, not particularly superb. Um, as I say, that dodgy defeat against Oscar De La Hoya, the only reversal on his record, but a former WBO champion, for what it's worth. But no rec names on the record so far to speak of. So if you fought Felix Sturm, I apologise. And Sturm all together, the much bigger of the two. Very good amateur. And Sharif is a tough guy, you know. Seen him in some wars over the years. But Sturm does look very strong, doesn't he? But one thing you can't take away from uh, Hassin Sharifi, you know, as I say, he's been there and done it. You know, his name is in the history books. So just over a minute to go then in this opening session and uh, the German crowd looking on very quietly watching how Sturm develops this one. Not much in the opening session is there? I think Sharifi's been slightly cannier but uh, Sturm has been the more aggressive of the two if not necessarily turning that into success although a lovely double jab there one to the body one to the head and then one to the head again. That's a good left hand from Sturm. Said so often, of course, the value of a good left hand or a right, of course, if you're, if you're a southpaw. Well, the more precise and harder punches have come from the German. And uh, as a result, I've got a feeling he might edge this round. It's been a reasonably close one. Well, nice right there over the top from Felix Sturm. And yep, well, decent round there from these two men to start off with, but the first round goes to Sturm from me. Let's talk about Sharifa for a moment, by the way.
um, won the European title against Franco Sobot back in 97, seven years ago, and uh, defended a cracking win against Neville Brown, who I, I, I was with recently, by the way. And then you may remember he fought Robin Reed and lost on points or split decision for the WBC title. And one point, if you can remember, who he actually beat for the WBC title next time out. Yeah, it was Keith Holmes, the same man who actually beat Sharifi in seven rounds for the title. And a man, by the way, Keith Holmes, that uh, Richie Woodall describes as incredibly awkward and pretty strong as well. Good puncher. Um, by the way, uh, William Joppy outpointed Sharifi in 2000 for the WBA title. Harry Simon did the same thing a year later. So there's some uh, up and down form on the Sharifi record, but the ups are high, the downs are low. As we come out for round two here. Got to say, I think Stone's in the driving seat in these early stages, but of course, uh, Sharifi has that incredible experience. This is fight number 46 for him, and for Sturm, of course, it's fight, in fact, he's had half as many, fight number 23. But he's, he's a good, raw talent. Nice little left hand there again. Bit of redding around the face of the Frenchman. No, I'll revise that. A lot of redding around the face. And again, decent punches here from Sturm. Now, the question I've got to ask here, has Sharifi um, had too long a career? Is he a shot fighter? I've got to say, at this point, he looks it. He has been a menace in the years uh, gone by. Decent handful, quicker than this, and more venomous. But at the moment, when he's under pressure, he really looks it. Of course, there was a time if he was uh, under pressure, he'd fire back. Give as good as he got, but not at the moment. Lovely little placed uppercut there from Sturm. And again, a little rock there for Sharifi. But he's beginning to liven up a bit here, has he, Sharifi? But Sturm looks very, very comfortable, doesn't he? No one's particularly comfortable, by the way, taking punches, that's for certain. But uh, well, when he considers a former world champion here in front of Sturm, I think he's doing a pretty decent job. So inside the last minute, then of round two. Not a bad round, this for Sharifi. Of course, everything that uh, Sturm does with that right hand will be wildly cheered by this crowd. So don't get too uh, swayed by that. If it's good, I'll say so. Well, that was a decent little right. The left hook there from Sharifi, who has been the busier of the two in this round. Once again, it's pretty close. Well, the end of round two, and I'll tell you what, I've got a feeling that Sharifi might just have edged that one. 19 points apiece then. Uh, a fascinating yeah, contest yeah. developing yeah. here. So there he is then, that's the, uh, the favourite certainly. And uh, what a terrific uh, career so far. No names, as I say, with the exception of De La Hoya on the record. Um, but this will be a big scalp if he can take it. And uh, for Sharifi, by the way, this is his 10th world-class opponent. Round three then of this uh, scheduled eight. And uh, as I say, no title at stake here at all. It's a super middleweight contest between Felix Sturm in the uh, blue and white. 
against Hassin Sharifi, the former WBC champion from France, of course. So, Sharifi, not a bad second round. Sturm, a good first. Two reasonably close rounds, but one apiece, for me anyway. Sturm, two inches taller, and uh, a whole lot chunky. Nice body shot there from Sturm. And he does land that uppercut well, doesn't he? I don't think he's really putting a great deal behind the, that particular shot at the moment, but it's uh, it's accurate. And the right hand's a good one as well when it lands with force. Almost a minute gone then in this third round. And once again, I've got to say that every time Sharif is hit cleanly, he looks hit. <laughs> Oh, that's a lovely body shot again there from Felix Sturm. And don't forget, we have seen Sturm before here on British Eurosport. And again, going for the body here. Wonder if there is a weakness downstairs for Sharifi. And you can see Sturm how he thinks. You can actually almost hear him thinking. He's moving, changing the direction of his attack. Oh, a lovely body shot again. That's the fourth. Well, I think that's the third left hook to the body. He's landed in this round. And Sharifi spat out his gum shot. It could all be over here for Hassin Sharifi. He's waved it off himself. He's just waved at the referee. He says, I don't want to continue. That was a terrible left hook to the body, I think, from Felix Sturm. Well, when was the last time you saw Hassin Sharifi? And that's going to go down as a, as a count out because that's exactly what it was. So he lost on a count out. That's only the 10th loss on a distinguished career for Hassin Sharifi. A left hook to the body, I think they did it. Here we go again. Third that round, I think. Bang. Oh, yeah. Oh, you try and shake one of those off. They really, really do hurt. They stay with you. And uh, it's a good man, you know, who can get up within 10 seconds having taken one of these. Belter, wasn't it? And Sharifi, don't forget, world-class fighter, once upon a time. OK, maybe not so much anymore, but that's not the point. He was. And it's not that long ago. That, well, that's, I've got to say, his fourth loss in five fights now for Sharifi. So, as I say, you know, it's been a while. Um, in fact, he's probably... A couple of years, he fought, by the way, Felix Trinidad as well. Um, and was stopped in four rounds at Sharif. But don't forget, Trinidad, a huge puncher. Uh, but thereafter, he actually became French champion again and defended once before trying for the Europeans. So, as I say, it's only a couple of years back that uh, Sharifi was a world-class fighter. But Felix Sturm has put pay to any hopes he may have of climbing back to the top. That was a cracking win. Third round knockout win then. It'll go down into KO because he failed to beat the count. He's a big lad, isn't he, Felix Stern? As I say, his amateur name was Adnan Katic, and in those days, a very decent fighter as well. Or, oh, sorry, boxer, I should say. I remember seeing him a few times. And, uh, well, Hassin Sharif, he might just about hang up his gloves after this, I imagine. Although, I've got to say, round two for him wasn't bad. But that left hook to the body pulverised him. Sent his uh, diaphragm into spasm. He hit the deck, legs came up. No chance of beating the count. Here we go then for the official verdict. Yeah, 126 seconds then for Sturm in round three to get rid of Hassin Sharifi. Terrific win.